good morning students welcome to the fifth lecture and we are doing the portrait of a lady by kushwant singh in my previous lectures i had introduced you to the author and his writing style then we had an idea of the story as a whole on also the explanation of the first two paragraphs today we go to the third and the fourth paragraphs of the lesson and try to understand what kushwan singh is trying to express or say about his grandmother so without much delay let us move on to the lesson my grandmother and i were good friends my parents left me with her when they went to live in the city and we were constantly together so here the author he lets us know that he and his granny were very close to each other when he was a child a very young boy his parents had to move to the city living young kushwan singh with his grandmother so during this period both grew very fond of each other and they loved staying in each other's company most of the time from morning till night every single responsibility of the child was undertaken by the grandmother she used to wake me up in the morning and get me ready for school she said her morning prayer in a monotonous sing song while she bathed and dressed me in the hope that i would listen and get to know it by heart i listened because i loved her voice but never bothered to learn it so the grandmother she would wake him up in the morning wash him and get him ready for school while bathing him she also used to sing her morning prayer quite repetitively because she wanted her grandson to memorize the prayer on the other hand kushwan singh humorously adds in a very funny note he adds that he listened to the song only because he loved the voice the sweet and melodious voice of his granny but not to by heart the song okay so this is what he says then she would fetch my wooden slate which she had already washed and plastered with yellow chalk a tiny earthen ink pot and a red pen tie them all in a bundle and hand it to me she would then tie up all the school items all the necessary school items wooden slate ink pot and a red pen in a cloth bundle and then give it to the author so that he can go to school without delay so this is how their day started okay the grandmother waking the grandson preparing him to school tying up all his goods okay and uh, uh, he also mentions one quality of his grandmother how she tried to teach him good values religion trying to teach him the morning prayer as much as possible so uh, we can see how she invested her energy in bringing up the child as a proper human being as well okay after a breakfast of a thick stale chapati with a little butter and sugar spread on it we went to school she carried several stale chapatis with her for the village talks so the breakfast was very simple it would be generally consisting of a thick previously cooked chapatis or rotis flattened bread okay with a little butter and sugar that would be sprinkled on the chapatis she would also carry some of 
these stale chapatis old chapatis stale means old for the stray dogs of the village okay so you can see how the grandmother was concerned about the village dogs stray dogs also my grandmother always went to school with me because the school was attached to the temple she loved carrying the grandson to school why because the school was very close it was attached to the temple the priest taught us the alphabet and the morning prayer and what was being taught alphabet and the morning prayer and who taught the alphabet and the morning prayer it was the priest while the children sat in rows on either side of the veranda singing the alphabet or the prayer in a chorus chorus means together in a unison okay they would be repeating the prayer and the alphabet my grandmother sat inside reading the scriptures so while the lessons would be given the students would be repeating the lessons the grandmother she would be sitting inside the temple and reading the scriptures what are scriptures these are religious writings okay so by now we come to know that the grandmother she had undertaken the responsibility of khushwan singh's education as well okay and she would be sit sitting together with him you know from morning till the time he ends his school she would be sitting sticking to him uh, sitting inside the temple waiting for him for his classes to come to an end only after that probably both of them went back home together so despite being old she was strong enough to undertake the responsibility of the grandchild so in my next slide i have uh, provided you a slide also where uh, we can have a glimpse of a school uh, a temple school okay the veranda where the students are having their class it was something like this okay children reading in the temple it's an open veranda and the priest giving the lessons when we had both finished we would walk back together after finishing the day's class the author and his grandmother they would be coming back to home this time the village dogs would meet us at the temple door the dogs would be waiting for them at the door of the temple they followed us to our home growling growling means making snarling noises growling noises and fighting with each other for the chapatis we threw to them so they would be accompanied by a host of stray dogs who would be waiting because they knew that the grandmother would bring them bits of chapatis and the entire way they would be throwing those bits of chapatis to the dogs feeding the stray dogs and the dogs would be fighting with each other for every single bit of chapati so you can see that the grandmother she had a very large heart she was a very open minded person very compassionate soul and uh, a very loving natured woman very religious as well now these are qualities which sets her apart from the rest of the common people this is probably why kushwan singh considered her to be a lady it also justifies the title of the lesson that is the portrait of a lady so thank you very much for listening thank you